Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Today's videos, if you did not see the two that I made earlier today, I will link them to the end of this video. Please go back and watch them. If you did not see them, it would help me out a lot on YouTube. And there is a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss. Universal basic health care, basic income, I'm sorry, for all Americans. We're going to talk about that throughout this video. Uh, please join in the conversation in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think about this. Okay, I, UBI, universal basic income. And should we get free money? We're going to talk about it. Well, it would be very easy to say, hell yes, yeah, send on the free money. We need this free money. But y'all, free money is not free. Somebody's paying for it. And guess who that somebody is? It's you and me in the form of inflation. Anytime they do these things, for some reason, inflation always rears up. Because these things has to be paid for somehow. So, we will pay for these things one way or the other. It's like, okay, here's your UBI. Okay, now give it back. Y'all, with UBI, if you remember, about a year ago, they started coming out with this idea about a federal bank account. Well, this is basically what UBI would be. They would give you a check every month. And I don't know how much it would be. It wouldn't be life-shattering income. It would be just a supplement, probably. And with that, they're going to want to know what you're spending it on. They're going to be all up in your business, trying to figure out, do you need this UBI? What are you spending it on? How are you spending it? Why are you spending it? They're going to want to know everything. They're going to have access to everything you do. Do you really want that? Is UBI worth all of that? I know a lot of people saying that, yeah, it would be because they need it so bad. But no, no, it won't be worth all that. Because UBI will go away at some point. It won't be forever. But their control over your every move will never go away. Have you ever noticed uh, like a big road project in your town? They, they do this, this special tax to pay for it, a penny tax or a half a cent tax to pay for this road project. And then when that road project is finished, they find a reason not to remove that tax. This would be the same thing. I mean, they would not ever get out of your business. If you think the federal government and the IRS sucks, you just wait until they give you UBI. The federal government and the IRS will suck the life right out of you. If you think you got it bad now, just be careful what you ask for. Because UBI, you will know what sucks really means. I, like I said, I know this free money would help a lot of people. But at the same time, it would hurt all of America. Free money is never free. You will pay for it one way or the other. Now, some people may say that, well, I don't really have no income, so I don't have to worry about paying it back. Yeah, you're going to pay it back. You just won't pay it back in the scale that other people with an income has to pay back. But you will pay your fair share. Don't kid yourself. UBI is not free. Please sound off in the comments below what you think about UBI. Do you think it's a good idea to get it? Do you think it's a good idea not to get it? I mean, you, you've heard my opinion on it. I don't think it's a good idea at all. Free money is never a good idea unless it's 100% free. And if it comes from the government, it's never 100% free. 
please watch the videos that's popping up here now. And also, don't forget the midterms in the 2024 election. We have to take our country back. We have to stand up for what we believe. Remember, it's us. It's not them. This is our country. We hired these people in Washington to do a job for us. They're not doing that job. In the midterms, we have to fire them. That's what you would do to an employee, right? You would fire them if they're not doing the job. Well, it's time to fire these lawmakers. And there's another thing, too, that we have to do. If we're going to get out of this, we have to do this. We have to keep our faith in Jesus Christ. We have to say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people in Washington. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. We need to put this in God's hands, lay it at his feet. He will find a cure for it. He will find a way out of it. The problem is right now, we, we pray to God to help us through this. And then we don't, we don't let it go. We keep worrying about it. We keep asking him. We only have to ask him one time. He will hear us. We don't have to keep asking him. Once we ask him the first time to help us through this situation, then all we have to do is thank him for doing it. Because once we ask him, it's already done. We just hadn't realized it yet. So keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Watch these videos that's popping up here now. Just know I love you. Until tomorrow, ciao.